Hi, it's Susan, and I thought I would do a little video about the types of clothing that I look for when I go to the thrift stores uh, so that I can use them in my journals. Um, I walked into a fabric store for the first time in about 20 years and was floored at the price of fabric by the yard. And so I decided I would be heading to the thrift stores because I would find some perhaps more interesting for me, fabrics over there and trims and things that I could cut apart. So I thought um, maybe I might give you a few ideas on what to look for and what to do with it once you got it home. One of the first things I go looking for are sheets. At my thrift store, sheets are usually $3.99, which is a great deal. It doesn't matter if they're twin size, queen size, king size, whatever. Um, they are usually $3.99. And that's a lot of yardage. So I was looking for some boho colors and I think I succeeded here with these sheets. Most of them are um, uh, like a cotton blend, but they fray nicely if you like that frayed edge. And they are really easy to tear and lightweight and easy to sew with. And what I do with these guys, okay, they've got that nice long top edge. That right there is a pocket that's just waiting to be put on. So when I cut these apart, I will cut that top trim off the sheets and roll that in a side like that. And you can stamp on it or you can use it as it is or add some more decorative trim to it. But this is just the right size for a pocket. And the fact that it's already doubled and has that fold in there makes it a little stronger. I also cut along this long seam allowance or rip if it's something that's going to rip easily like this will because that is a perfect strip for either a tie closure for a journal or I can use it in tassels or both. And I usually will process all the material once I get it home. I'll wash it and then I will cut it all apart because psychologically for me it's easier once it's all cut apart and I can look at it as just material. I mean look at that. That's a, that's a lot of material for $3.99 compared to paying $10, $11, $12 a yard. And this is also a sheet. It's music. Sorry, I'm going to be going in and out of frame because I'm fortunate enough to have so much fabric here to choose from. Um, this was a music sheet <laughs> that I found, and it is all cotton. It frays really nicely, and this will make some great strips for ribbons or ties or tassels or pockets or all kinds of... I mean, there's, there's a lot of fabric there. I also go looking in the... Um, Oh, geez, what do they call that department? You know, for drapes, this was some kind of, a, I guess, a valance. And this is a great brocade and has fringe as well. So that I get a couple journal covers out of that for sure. I also look over at scarves and shawls. Sometimes I'll be having a very good special on them. And it's really lightweight material. It's too lightweight to cover a journal. But it will be uh, great for flips. It tears really nicely for um, closures, or you could cut apart the flowers and applique them on pockets and things. Something else some people might overlook would be uh, shower curtains, because they're kind of a heavy duty material, so they might make really good journal covers, but I usually look at them as things that I can cut apart. And since I like to do a lot of nature kind of things, this one attracted me because of all the leaves. And then we had words as well, so I can, you know, dragonfly, I've got all kinds of great things I can cut apart on here. Look at that, that's, that's wonderful. And this is also a shower curtain. Again, it was the leaves that called me to it. And I don't know what the material is, but it's, it's nice and strong, so this would be a good journal cover. And I could use it as is, or of course, you know, layer things together. Then the next thing I go looking for are clothes themselves. And I look for a few things. As I'm going up and down the aisles at my thrift store, every day of the week there's like a different color tag that's 50% off, and that's always what I'm looking for because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay $10 for a dress, even if it does have some really exquisite lace or something. This dress, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at all that embroidery. This one I will probably leave in one piece until I decide what I'm going to use it on because... I'll have to decide how many of the pieces of that I want. But in addition to that wonderful embroidery, I've got buttons. And I've got this great lace up here. I've got 
the uh, shoulder straps, which will be great to use in tassels. Whatever this little trim is under here will be great in a tassel or a trim on a pocket. And then just some good cotton material that I can tear apart and use for other things. Another boho piece I was looking for. This is all cotton, so this is going to rip really nicely for a lot of things. And then there's a little bit of beadwork that I can cut apart and use. And this has got patterns done in such a way that I could actually cut apart just this ribbon and it would be a nice sash on its own or tear it because we all like those torn edges. I might leave this one together too until I decide how I want to use it. Just found this this week. This was in the men's department. Does that not scream boho? It could have come in one of my packages that came from India. So I'll take this trim across the sides and then cut the sleeves and seams apart so that I know what kind of fabric I've got. But I can certainly get a few journal covers and who knows what else out of those. And as I'm going down the aisles and I'm flipping the hangers, I'm usually looking at what the patterns are to see if it's something that works with my aesthetics. And since, of course, the nature stuff, I was attracted to the dark green, the flowers and the leaves. And then I started looking at this thing and realized, wow, I've also got a sash. So right there, I've got two of those. They're already seamed really nicely. Iron those out and sew them on the end. And there we've got another journal cover. I will take apart this very thin seam that edges the neckline. And that's another great closure or for a tassel. And I do the same thing on the inside seams. I cut these apart because you never know what kind. If you're doing a really junky journal or a shabby chic journal, they might be just the right colors to use in there. Sometimes I grab something not because it's going to be torn apart into a lot of good things, but just because, my goodness, this says boho like crazy. Although there is a little bit of embroidery on here. I was more interested in the tie-dye. That was just fabulous, and this is cotton. This one, of course, I was attracted to because of the flowers. I mean, there's so many different things you can cut apart on here and applique and do journal covers and everything with. But again, I have got, let's see, somewhere down here. So I've got some, I probably won't worry about trying to save that kind of stuff. This dress has a lining, I think. Yep. So... Say I say the dress was marked $7.99, I got it for 50% off, so uh, it was like $3.99, $4. And then I've got this lining, so it's like another whole dress of all this great muslin. And again, I can cut these seams apart, real skinny like that, rip those down, and I've got great ties for something else. This is great, this kind of lining material is great for stamping on. I mean, that's a lot more material in the lining. Look at that. That is awesome. And see, zippers, so far I haven't done anything with zippers. That's not to say that I won't. I do save them all, but remains to be seen what I will do with them. This one I couldn't resist because it was a denim skirt. It had a great little pattern. And again, it was one of my 50% off things. This has a wide hem, so that can be cut off. Those would be great belly bands. And it's already sewn for you. You can just glue it right into your journal page. But I do like to look for things with lining, like this. This is just a wonderful foresty satin. And these I can leave whole, or I can cut any of these apart, and I've got another element to add to the page. Okay, one more thing I want to grab. Just wanted to show you a few things that I had already processed. I got a skirt. And it had the the most of the skirt was made out of this wonderful suede. It is so soft, and of course I could just picture it as journal covers, especially okay. I'm picturing little books. This will make great journal covers for little books. They just, oh, it feels so good. But this skirt was made of panels, and in between each panel was lace. So once I took all that apart, I had all this lace and all these panels of suede, but wait, there's more. There was the seam of the lining, which will be great ties, and then there was the lining itself. So when I find a skirt with a lining, that's kind of exciting. 
One of the other things I look for, of course, is lace. I mean, we all love vintage lace, but it's not cheap. So I found, this is part of a blouse I found, and it was actually really bright, bright white. I mean, just like hurt your eyes white. And I t put it in some uh, tea and got a nice more of a vintage look to it. But look at how there are all these different strips of lace. So I can cut this apart so many different ways to get different trim out of it. So I always keep my eyes open for lace. Another thing are pillowcases and pillow shams. This is a pillow sham. And I got a pair of those for very cheap. I was attracted to this uh, trim right here because again, it's got three stripes so I can leave it big and it would make a great pocket or I could cut each of these into three stripes. And it's got these little tiny embroidered flowers on it. So it came with two of them and this is what I got when I was done cutting it apart. I have all these long strips. I've got a nice big stack of the appliques. I've got my trim, which again, I can cut apart, which could make a great, that's a good size for pocket right there, or belly bands. These were the seams, which are doubled, nicely ironed already like this. Again, this would be a good belly band. Put two of them together and you've got a nice, um, closure for your journal and then I got two more you know nice pieces of material out of it so that's not bad for two pillow shams and the last thing I want to say is don't forget to uh, look down the men's aisles because men's shirts can be a lot larger than uh, women's shirts and skirts sometimes and there's a lot of fabric on there so this was one man's shirt had an interesting pattern that could be cut apart if I wanted it has a pocket okay Here's a pocket that's already made. Boom. You can just glue that right into your journal as is. Lots more pieces of material. And then, of course, I cut apart. Here's like one of those skinny, skinny seams. That's a great, look at that. That's a great journal closure right there. So I've got lots of the skinny pieces. And then men's shirts have often have collars. This has stiffener in it. So once I iron this out, that is another great pocket or belly band. Let's see, I could probably get, get four pockets. I could get four pockets out of one collar. So that's just some of the things I look for and how I process the clothes I go pick up at Goodwill to give me um, great new things for my fabric stash, which I did not think I was gonna become addicted to gathering, but looks like I am. That's all I've got for you now. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.